The passing of Queen Elizabeth after a 70-year reign leaves a huge void in the royal family. There are questions about how the new king will carve out his role as monarch. Joining us now is Keith Roy from the Monarchist League of Canada. Wonderful to see you, Keith. Uh, welcome back to CTV Morning Live. It's good to be back here in person. So a few days for King Charles now. It seems like the haters have kind of disappeared. There seems to be a lot of people gravitating to the new king. It, the, the sympathy that people feel for the passing of a woman as significant as the queen mm -hmm. uh, has translated to sympathy for King Charles. And we've never been through this in our lifetime, but this is a normal occurrence where the monarch dies and the institution remains. Mm. And so people are, you know, maybe 10 years ago, people were thinking if Queen Elizabeth were to die, we wouldn't want anything to do with the monarchy. It doesn't make sense without her. But people have seen very quickly this week that with the death of Queen Elizabeth, the institution remains. And King Charles subsumes the role. Uh, a king doesn't assume his role, he subsumes it and he becomes the role. Mm -hmm. The king is, Charles is the personification of the crown. So that's what we're seeing happening. And we're seeing that spread to the social fabric of our, of our nation. And, and it's nice to see. So the role of the monarch is not to be political. The queen was not political. Uh, we know that Charles uh, has for years been an advocate for the environment, uh, has speaks strongly about climate change. Is he going to be able to continue to do those things in his role as king? Yeah, so if you, if you go back and watch, as I'm sure you have, the speech he gave shortly after his mother's passing, he made reference to that. And he said, you know, I've, I've had to take on these issues through my life. Uh, which wasn't unreasonable. He, he's, you know, in his 70s. Had he just waited for this job to appear, he wouldn't have accomplished anything. So he chose to accomplish some stuff. The issues for him in particular were climate change, the relationship between the West and Islam. And he worked on those issues throughout his life, had the prince's trust, has done incredible things in his own career. And he said in that speech, I have to give these up now. They are, they are set up in a way that they will continue to run. Those charities will continue to exist. The good work that they're doing will go on. But he will now subsume the role of the crown, and he will no longer be part of that. Mm -hmm. And Charles is one of the most intellectually curious men I've ever met. Mm. And, and many people will adhere or will, will attest to this. He is so inquisitive. Uh, Camilla's been interviewed talking about how he's constantly reading and looking into things and mm. going deeper, reading books at night, and reports and papers. He's an incredibly interested and, and well-educated man who's well-positioned to give advice to His Majesty's governments and, and so on. You see that with the indigenous, indigenous issue right now. Uh, the relevance of the institution, because all this coverage non-stop right now. Do you think actually uh, the monarchy is becoming more relevant or now less relevant with the queen gone? Interestingly, I, th I think it's become more relevant because people are now looking and re realizing that the queen, while the personification of the institution for seven years, was not the institution. She was an incredible personification of it, but the institution remains. And, and this system of government, this Westminster this Westminster system of government we have in Canada yeah. is the reason we have the rights and freedoms that we do. It's the reason that we can have our political debates in Parliament and we can come together under the crown as, as one nation. Whereas if we look, I can contrast it with the Americans, their system of government is rather fragile. Mm -hmm. And every time one government comes, that head of state, the personification of America, mm -hmm. they throw out all the last guy's stuff and they start again. We don't do that. We, we soldier on as Canadians making progress every year, every year, and we personify that in the crown. I'm curious to know, when we've seen throngs of people um, obviously wishing the Queen well, but also greeting Charles, he's shaking hands, you know, bouquets of flowers, but where is he at with the public opinion among people? I mean, is he going to be gaining? What could he do to gain more popularity? What could he do to lose that popularity? And, and what will Camilla's role be in all of that? Yeah, let, let's be frank. Charles's reputation from 30 years ago uh, was a challenge for him. And in his, in the later years of his life, he's really done a great job of converting that. There was no playbook for being the heir to the throne on TV. That didn't exist. Whereas with William, we had the playbook because we had done it with Charles. Mm -hmm. So Charles has done a great job of rehabilitating rehabilitating his reputation with the public. And people now realize with years gone by that Camilla's his true love and she's an incredible support source for him. Mm -hmm. And now he's got the love of his life supporting him in this new role, which he has taken to quite nicely. Now he's just away for the new uh, King Charles currency. Coming soon, I hear. 
Seventy-six. I yes. would suspect to see his effigy on a coin within a year or so. Okay. okay. Yeah. Forward to it. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Heath, for joining us this morning. Thank Good you so much. Good to be here. Much. Mm -hmm.